He passes unnoticed amid the grandeur of Rome, but Philmon Menges is just 17 and alone. One of an estimated 26,000 unaccompanied miners who have arrived as migrants in Europe last year. The majesty of his surroundings belies his own circumstances. He has endured so much to get this far. At an age when most teenage boys are thinking about exams or football or girls, he's thinking about survival in a strange city a long way from home. He tells me his family paid people smugglers $8,000 to get him to Italy, a six-month journey across the Sahara or Mediterranean in which seven of his companions died. It's been a month since he spoke to his family, so I lent him my phone. The smile says it all. And you've been here for He shows time. me the squat where he's living rough. This former university office is his bedroom. This sofa is where he sleeps. Watched over by a fellow migrant who says they've made such perilous journeys to escape often indefinite military conscription. A lot of um, young people are um, die in the Sahara Desert also. Just be, uh, it's a difficult life for these young people. There are more than a thousand Eritreans occupying this one building in Rome, apparently ignored by the Italian authorities. Filmon is just one of 11,000 underage, unaccompanied migrants that the Italian authorities know entered Italy last year. But 7,000 of those have disappeared, part of a Europe-wide crisis, the scale of which is difficult to grasp. Filmon clings to his Christian faith as he tries to navigate through the countless dangers on the streets. Like so many other young people swept into Europe on this tide of migration, he is praying for a better future on a continent where he thought life would be far easier than it is. Dan Rivers, News at 10, Rome.